Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and I have been diamond painting for a couple of years now. I've completed a wide variety of different kits and I think I've learned a thing or two along the way. I thought I would take a little time today just to share a diamond painting for beginners video here where I walk you through the process of diamond painting from the moment that you open up your kit to placing some diamonds on your canvas to finishing off your project and seeing how lovely it can look once it's complete. I do have a lot of different tips and tricks and tutorial videos here on my channel as well. So I'll try to link to some of them down below in the description. I would love for you to take a look, but for now, we're just going to start with the basics. I stopped by my local craft store last week and picked up this absolutely adorable kit. This is a hipster Boston Terrier. See how cute he is. And this is, this was from the store Joann's and is by the company Diamond Art Club, which is one of many different diamond painting companies out there, but certainly one of my favorites. Now inside this box is going to be absolutely everything you need to do your diamond painting, including the canvas, the diamonds, and a toolkit that's going to have everything that you need to complete your diamond painting. So I'm going to walk you through this step by step. I hope that this is going to help you feel a little bit less intimidated by a new to you craft. And hopefully it's just the start of a beautiful new journey in this hobby. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here we have our absolutely adorable kit. This is the Hipster Boston Terrier. This has been licensed from the artist of this artwork and depending on what kind of kit you get and what company it's from, it's gonna have some different kinds of info on the box. This one has some branding. It lets us know that this is gonna have round diamonds. If you look at different areas on the box, it might tell you some info about how to diamond paint, maybe a little info about the kit contents as well. So that's what our, the outside of your box may look like. Let's take a look at what we're going to find inside the box. Inside your box, you're going to find the rest of the kit contents. So in here, we're gonna have the canvas and the diamonds. Uh, this is our toolkit that'll have everything we need to do our diamond painting with. And then this particular company sent a little sticker that you can use if you like to track your diamond paintings or just have a cute little sticker that has all the information about the kit as well. So let's open all of this up and let me show you what else is going to be in here. Now here we have a few more elements to the kit. So obviously we have our adorable canvas here. We have our diamonds over here. We're gonna get into these in just a little bit. Usually your kit is going to come with some sort of instruction pamphlet like this one that's gonna give you some information about what's in your kit as well as some information about how to's, how to do your diamond painting. So if you like to see things written out, things like this are super helpful. Diamond Art Club has a really thorough and comprehensive pamphlet here that I find to have some really helpful info in it. You're probably gonna get some sort of inventory or sticker sheet. Like I said, Diamond Art Club has lots of extra bonus um, inclusions in their kits. This is actually a set of pre-cut stickers for you. Um, and we have our adorable original artwork there as well. And here's our canvas. So if you happen to unroll your canvas and you're noticing that it's looking like it wants to roll back the other direction like that, as long as it has a clear cover like this one, you can actually roll it back. That's gonna help it lay a little bit more flat. And there we go. He is adorable and ready to work on. As far as how to actually diamond paint, let's go back to your toolkit that's been included with your diamond painting kit. And the exact contents may vary just a little bit, but it's gonna have everything that you need to get started with your diamond painting, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned professional. Let me show you what we're going to find in here. So this particular diamond painting kit toolkit comes with a basic pen. It may or may not come with a squishy. That's just gonna make it a little bit more comfortable to do your diamond painting. And then we have a tray, which is what we're going to pour our diamonds into. I'll be sure to show you that here in just a bit as well. 
Here we have, this is actually waxed. You're going to fill up your diamond painting pen with some of this wax. Again, any diamond painting that you get should come with some. Now, often you're gonna get a pink wax, whether or not it's in the shape of a heart or a square or something like that. Oftentimes, very, very often, it's gonna come with this thin plastic cover on the top. You wanna make sure you peel that back because otherwise it is very tricky, if not impossible, to load up your pen. So we'll load that up together here in just a bit. Your toolkit may or may not come with some of these little plastic pieces. These are actually multi-placers. If you wanna try your hand at putting down more than one diamond at a time, you certainly can do so. You can just pop one of those in the other end. You can also take it out and replace it with a different one if you so choose. For beginners, I recommend starting with just using that single tip and placing one diamond at a time. Your kit may or may not come with some of these plastic baggies. You can store your diamonds in these if you like to, which is probably what we'll do for this kit. These are some bonuses that just so happen to come with this particular toolkit. These are, I don't think, really standard but this is a roll of washi tape and this is a cover minder and you can use a cover minder to help hold back the plastic cover while you're diamond painting and you can use washi tape to section off your diamond painting or cover up any glue that's going past the edge of the diamonds but you probably won't have to worry about that in this particular kit let me go ahead and show you how to put wax in your pen. Now, you should only have to do this every so often. I'll show it this way so that you can see it a little better, but you're just gonna take the tip of your pen and press it into the wax like this. I recommend then kind of spinning your pen just a little bit, that kind of helps put a nice little cut in the wax and then you'll pull it out, you'll see that hole there. And then if you take a look, we have that pink wax right there. And our pen, it is ready to go and pick up diamonds for us. So our pen is loaded and ready to go. We have all of our tools waiting for us. Let me show you how we're actually gonna do our diamond painting. First, you are going to need your diamonds. Now, they may come packaged like this where you're gonna have to cut into these to open them up. They may alternatively come in Ziploc baggies that are just pre-sealed for you and you can just open up and pour into your tray. Now, there are a couple of different shapes of diamonds that you may see with your diamond painting kit. If you take a look, you'll see that these are round diamonds. You'll most likely either see round or square diamonds. Occasionally you'll see some diamonds that look a little bit different from these. They might look more like crystals or they might have another kind of special sheen to them. But if you're picking up a kit from the craft store like this one, you are most likely going to see diamonds that are just just like this. Now this kit and a lot of diamond painting kits will come with a special kind of diamond. You can see that this one has a really sparkly coating on the top. This is called an AB diamond or an Aurora Borealis diamond. And these just sparkle even more than these regular diamonds do. So that is one that you are quite possibly gonna run into with one of your first diamond painting kits. So what I'd like to do now is let's find our first color, and let me show you what it's gonna be like to actually put some of these diamonds down on this canvas. So I've decided to start here at the bottom of my canvas with one of these outside symbols because it is easy to get to. I'm not likely to get my hand stuck in the glue because this is gonna be a glue that we have here under the plastic cover. So I have taken a look and seen that this symbol is the white dot on a black background. If I look at my legend again, I can see that this is gonna be the number two um, in this particular kit or color code 310. So I have grabbed my bag that says 310. I'm gonna cut this open and pour some of these diamonds into my tray. <laughs> and some onto my canvas. Just pour a few, you don't have to pour a ton, just a little bit. And then I actually have gone ahead and I have pre-labeled as one of my Ziploc baggies. You can either get one that you can write on with Sharpie or this kit did come with these sticker labels, so I've put that on there. And I'm just gonna pour the rest of these diamonds into this bag for safekeeping. and keep that handy. So I have my first set of diamonds here. You'll notice they're kind of in a little pile here. If you wanna get them to line up nicely in these lines that you have in the tray, go 
ahead and shake it just a little bit, maybe tilt it at just a slight angle. I like to tap my tray just a little bit and that kind of helps them line up in a way that's a little easier to get to. Now, yes, we do have a little straggler drill there. That is okay, that's actually not uncommon when it comes to diamond paintings. Look at how sparkly and wonderful these drills are. Just, you know, don't place that white drill down on the symbol. So we have our diamonds ready to go. We have our pen ready to go. It has wax in the tip. Now what I need to do is this has this plastic cover. I'm just going to peel it back a little bit and we're going to work right here in this section. Now to help hold back the plastic cover, you can either just set something heavy right here. Like you could even just take your bag of drills and put it right there. This particular kit did come with that little cover minder tool. So I'm going to grab that and use that to help hold back the cover. This is not a must have. You can find something else that will help you keep that plastic cover pulled back a little bit. You can even use scissors and just cut off a section. But now we have our tray, we have our plastic cover pulled back, and now we're about to pick up some diamonds and place it down here on the glue. This is sticky. You could touch it with your finger and you see it's stuck. I would not recommend touching it with your finger a bunch because you don't want it to necessarily lose its stickiness. I am gonna now go ahead and pick up a diamond. So just to bring you up close, you can see all you have to do, there's wax already in there. You don't have to press hard. Just lightly press on the drill or the diamond. Yes, you'll hear some people call them drills. Um, and you'll see that that wax has picked up this particular diamond. And then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna line it up, kind of center it on that symbol press lightly again you don't have to press hard and there we go it is all ready to go then you could do it again again just lightly press you can hold your pen even at a little bit of an angle because that wax is pretty forgiving and there it's holding that diamond and we're just gonna line it up and center it with our symbol right here and place it and then you are off to the races one diamond at a time so that is how you actually place these diamonds on the canvas once you finish a particular section that you're working on and you're ready to move on to the next color you can take that bag where you're storing your diamonds or if you're using some kind of bead storage container which i actually really like to do as well you just take your your tray and lightly shake it into the container or the Ziploc baggie. If you see any diamonds that don't quite wanna come out, try tapping on the back, and occasionally you'll have some diamonds go flying like that one just did. <laughs> and then there you go, you're ready to go ahead and pick out your next color. As far as what symbols to pick next, I recommend just picking ones that are either right next to the section that you just worked on, or looking just for symbols that catch your eye and are easy to pick out so that you're not going to have too much trouble with finding them and then placing those diamonds. If you're curious about trying to place more than one diamond at a time, like with these multi-placers like I mentioned to you earlier, you can load these up with wax and give it a try. I recommend starting small. I actually have a couple of videos that are dedicated just to how to multi-place, especially if you're a perfectionist like me. I will link to those videos down in the description box below, along with some other helpful beginner-friendly videos. I would love for you to go and take a look there and hopefully you'll find some tips and tricks that are helpful for you with your diamond painting. But for now, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the rest of my diamonds and do what I call kit them up. So I am gonna get them out of the pre-sealed baggies that they came in and I'm gonna go ahead and put them all each in labeled Ziploc baggies just so that they are all ready to go and I don't have to worry about cutting into each bag individually. And then we're gonna work on this painting together. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you though what my kitting up process looks like here in a time-lapse mode. And then I would love for you guys to stick around and watch me complete this diamond painting with you all. And I have more to share with you after we're done as well. So let's get started.
So we are all kitted up and ready to go. I have all of these colors, which there's a total of 18, as you can see over here on our legend on our canvas. All 18 colors in their respective baggies, each with their color code or DMC color code written on the bag. And then I went ahead and could put the sticker on here as well. Just as a reminder, the number here on the left, that is just the number order on the particular canvas. This is one of 18 colors and this is two of 18 colors. And then we have our symbol, which in this case happens to be also the number one. And this number here is that color code that we were talking about. Now, if you decide that diamond painting is a hobby that you are gonna continue doing because welcome to this fantastic hobby, we all often decide that this is what we wanna spend a lot of time doing. You may decide that you want to uh, make some small investments and some tools that, are, that will be a little more sustainable over time. You can, buy a kind of bead storage system like this is actually a bead storage system for a different kit that I'm working on and these are plastic containers that you can kit up into as well and then if you want to save your diamonds after you're done with a diamond painting you can still use Ziploc baggies but there are a lot of different storage options out there I recommend just using something that works for you if you're curious to see some of my suggestions in general I have a video on top five tool upgrades for beginners like the kind of first upgrades that i recommend making once you decide that you're going to spend a little more time diamond painting things like getting a little bit more comfortable pen a little bit bigger tray those sorts of things it includes a little bit about storage as well i will link to that video below along with lots of other tutorials and videos with tips and tricks for diamond painting but for now i cannot wait to go ahead and get started with this adorable little diamond painting. I'm going to take you guys along with me and I will chat with you more afterwards with just a couple other tips and to share with you guys how this adorable kit looks once it is completed with all of these diamonds down. Let's get started. So one diamond at a time, before you know it, you are going to have your completed diamond painting. How cute is he? Oh, I love him so much. Now you're probably wondering, what do I do with my completed kit? What do I do with the leftover diamonds and toolkit? 
that is completely up to you. You don't have to display your kits in your home. To be honest with you, I have over 75 completed diamond paintings at this point and I don't have quite that much wall space. So I just have one or two, including this one back here, in my home displayed at any given time. The rest I just store in a portfolio. For me, the process of diamond painting is why I do the craft. It's very relaxing for me. It relieves my anxiety and it just is so fun to see this beautiful artwork come together on a canvas. As far as your leftover diamonds go, you can save those if you like. I like to save mine in those little Ziploc baggies and I write that DMC color code on the front so that I can match them up with other diamonds or use them as spares if I run out of a color in another kit in the future. That's completely up to you. My friends, I really, really enjoyed completing this diamond painting alongside of you. I hope that this video was helpful for you and made completing your first diamond painting feel a lot less intimidating and a whole lot more enjoyable. Now, if you're looking to get some more specific tips and tricks about different things, for example, if you'd like to learn more about how to multi-place, especially if you're a perfectionist like me, if you'd like to learn about what is washi tape used for, how can I use that? Any number of things like that. I have a whole playlist here on my channel that's dedicated to tutorials and how to's. I'm going to link to all of the things down below in the description. Feel free to take a look. I think that's really the best jumping off point as far as where to go from here. Welcome to the community and to the craft. It is an absolutely wonderful place here. We would really, really love to have you. And I would love to have you here in my community here on my channel. So if you'd like to see lots more diamond painting content, including future unboxings and post reviews, which is where here on my channel, I just try to show a lot of different diamond painting kits from different companies, particularly ones that license the artwork from the artist, I would love to have you. So feel free to subscribe. You can hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos as well. And if you ever have any requests from different tutorials you might like me to do or different companies you might like me to try out, I am always open to those requests and that feedback. So feel free to let me know. I'm happy to help. My friends, I hope that this video was super, super helpful for you. I would love to hear what was your first diamond painting? What did you think? And are you here for more? I hope so. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you are doing well. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.